Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I'm going to be making, um, let's see, Amber Romance in this video. It is a Victoria's Secret dupe and um, let me smell it. I haven't smelled it since I made bath bombs. Hmm, smells pretty good. Um, so the colors, I can't remember um, the colors that they used. I didn't go to their website to see the color scheme, but I picked um, Fantasia Pink. Um, that's from Rustic Essentials. And then I'm going to do um, Nurture Soap Firefly Mica and also um, some Nurture Soap um, Mango Tango Mica, which is kind of a nice bright orange. And I thought um, I might do some white and then just kind of layer it all in there, just kind of drizzles, and then um, use a hanger. So I thought that might kind of look pretty together. Um, I just put my um, kale and clay in. So I'm going to give that a buzz before I add my lye water. Okay, I've already got my silk in here. Um, I master batched um, 10 batches um, the other day. So it's so nice just to be able to grab your jar of water and your oils. Um, it's pretty awesome. So everything's at room temp here. I just got the oils warm enough to melt a little bit. And so I'm going to go ahead and add my lye water here. Give that a blend for a little bit. <laughs> So soaping at a 5% water discount um, just because of the soda ash and things like that. So oh, the nap. Go away. I think that is just good enough there. Trying a new camera angle again to see if this one is a little bit easier to see. So I'm anxious to see how this one comes out when I do the editing. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and split this off here. We have got... Oh my goggles are getting foggy today. It's really humid. I need to make sure I'm in the camera here too. But I'm just going to split that off into approximate equal parts. And I really don't want more white than anything else. I just want like all four equal parts. So I think I can do a little more here. And that's close enough. Oops. Okay. to think what I didn't do and that is mix my titanium dioxide ahead of time. Which almost tells me I just don't even want to do the white. I changed my mind. <laughs> we all do that, don't we? I think I'm just going to go with the three colors and a hanger swirl. I think that'll be pretty cool. discount. Let's see, is there any other thing I can do to accelerate the soak? I mean, it's thick. It's not really accelerated. I don't even have any fragrance in it yet. It's just really thick. Um, but that's okay. Let me get my spatulas here. Get ready to add my colors. Get 
some of that mango tango in there. You know what else I didn't do? Line my mold. I am such a slacker this morning. I should have did that when I batched everything else. So before I put any fragrance in here, I'm going to line my mold really quick. Get into some of this Fantasia pink. All right, I'm gonna pause you guys right here while I go and line my mold. I'll be right back. Okay guys, I am back and got my mold all lined. So I think, well, I don't know what, I don't remember how I found it, but I don't know if I had an email or if I was just looking through my stuff, but um, I was like, I haven't been to Rustic Essentials for a while to look for fall scents. And then I found that they were having a sale on um, their one ounce bottles, 20, it was like 20 one ounce bottles for $20 or something. So I got two sets of 20. Um... Because I like to, uh, I'm going to go ahead and get this ready to pour before it gets too thick on me. Um, but I thought what I would do is um, mix and match some fragrances too because there's a lot of similar scents. And um, that's a great way to get some. Let's see how that looks in the camera. Okay, that looks pretty good. Okay. So. a little bit thick there. Oh wow, pour fast. <laughs> Hang on, let me find my orange. Does it smell off? Oh yeah, that's still really workable. Let's go ahead and try to pour some of that in. Probably too thick. No, but I got like um I got a lot of fall scents. I got some pumpkin stuff. I should have my list in front of me to tell you guys what I got, but I got some really nice ones. I'm excited to try. But since I only use about three ounces um, when I make a batch, I like, thought, you know, why not mix some of the nice pumpkin ones and um, what else did I get that was like fall? Oh, I got some. Um, like apple strudel and then like just fresh apple and some different ones like that to combine to give it like some more depth. Um, so I am super excited to get those. I should have those in a few days. By then I will have made all 10 of these soaps and I'll be on to, I'll have 10 more things ready to go. So I'm excited to get those made. Um, let's see. Oh, I think I used the wrong spatula. That's quite all right. I'll switch over to the yellow for this one. <laughs> I'm anxious to see how this one turns out with a hanger to it. It's actually staying pretty good to work it with. I'm, it's pretty awesome. Whenever I get in um, my fragrances um, from Rustic Essentials, I will... Um, say essential depot earlier I think I said rustic essentials but anyway once I get them in um, I'll do a haul and show you guys the ones that I got maybe see what makes good combinations or what you guys would like to to try I need ideas from what like smells good together I got oh I know which one I got that I really like too is um 
think it's a raspberry patchouli. Oh man, I can't wait because I love the earthy scents and the sandalwoods. I got a lot of like lavender and um, uh, different scents like vanilla lavender and just, I think I got lavender and chamomile. So, I mean, I picked 40 different ones, so that'd be interesting. Also, um, one I got was, um, I got the marijuana and then I got hot cocoa. So it would be like a marijuana brownie. That's what I'm going to call it so nobody steal my name. <laughs> but um, <laughs> but I thought that'd be a cute soap. I mean, you know, everybody watches Cheech and Chong movies. They're cute. And it's, you know, of course, it doesn't have anything illegal in it. It's just, I guess, the scent. I've never smelled it, so I'm, I'm just curious to try it. I, I like to try new things when I make soap. So I thought I would just see how that one does. One should be really pretty. I'm excited. All these bright colors. And it's staying so nice. I love it. I finally, finally, finally got a really good recipe, though, that I like. I like to work with it. And so I've decided to stick with that as like my main recipe for soap. Um, it's a really bubbly and I'll vary it when I make like beer soap or coffee soaps and things like that, of course. But like for just regular um, soaps, I will be using a standard recipe that I really like. It has a lot of butters and um, just good things for your skin in it. Should do. Oops, probably heard something outside. I think the kids go back to school tomorrow here, so they're still out and about doing stuff. I'm gonna give that a little smackdown. Okay, so I'm gonna take the hanger to that. So I'm gonna go grab that real quick. Yep, that looks really pretty. Alright, I'm going to give it a spritz uh, with alcohol, but this is the finished soap here. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and set that one on the table and get started on the next soap, but stay tuned. Um, I'll have the cutting of this one and this video coming right up. Thanks guys. Have a good day.